Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? Okay, today we're going to do the three card spread. Pick a card. We're doing desire, obstacle, and solution. Okay, you see here that these correspond with each pile. This is pile number one. We're picking the star because that's your desire. What do you wish for? All right. So under pile number one, we have spirit and I am. Under pile number two, we have I speak and earth. So these are the earth signs here. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Pile number three, we have I see and water water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So you can uh, pick a pile based on the images you see or by the tiles here, by the stones. Okay. What is your desire? What is getting in your way? And what is the solution? How do you get the desire that you want? How do you overcome this obstacle? Okay. I'm gonna set these aside. Spirit and I am and pretty much every mantra that you're going to say to yourself is going to start with I am I am beautiful I am desirable I am worthy okay so your desire the obstacle and the solution. Ooh. Okay. Well, it looks like you desire to have some sort of maybe a business collaboration with someone. I see the rose here. It could also be very romantic. Um, the way they're dressed though kind of reminds me of like a butler and a maid. Maybe they're making out some kind of a deal. Um, 
how they can work together. Then we have this rose here as well with little hearts here in the middle. Ooh, there's maybe some sort of a work relationship here that you're desiring to be with this person and have a union and you're sharing emotions with each other. This is growing. And it's very tall, feels very sturdy for a flower. Flowers are very delicate. But the stem here is very strong and sturdy. And what's standing in the way? Wow. The Hierophant. Some sort of a knowing that you have. With traditions, right? With old. This reminds me of like Egyptians. You got the beetle here. Old scripture. Right? An inner knowing. Maybe you know, like, this is not right because you're working together. You know, it's against the rules. You do have this ring here, which symbolizes marriage. It's the golden ring. Looks like this would be uh, the masculine ring. You know, it's just a simple band. Doesn't have diamonds or anything on it. Um, it could also be for the feminine. Depends on, you know, how, much, how you like to wear your jewelry. And it's like this web here. Maybe there's like some sort of web of, of lies, right? Secrecy because you work with this person, you have to keep it secret. But you want to tell the world, you want to write it on the wall. It's even like a key here, the key to my heart. You want to have the freedom to be together. Very sacred messages. You're trying to tell this other person how you feel. Okay, and this is the solution the lovers, right? Maybe you're going to quit your job so that you guys can be together because it's against the rules. You have to do it in secret, it's, but you want it to be out in the open. And then we have the roses again. And the snakes are like making out over here, both their tongues are out. Yeah, they're embracing each other. They're kind of uh, entangled within this rose, this rose bush. It's almost like they're squeezing the life out of the rose bush, right? And that could be the the job that you're getting rid of. You're squashing it so that you could be together. And 
this is your desire to be together and the solution is to just be together because serving other people is not serving yourself you need to do what's right for you what you're wishing for this job that you have is not going to bring you the satisfaction that this love is going to bring you. All right. So then we ask ourselves, what might an experimental test run look like? Is it possible? All right. Can we, can we be together? Can we survive without these jobs? Because you both are working together, so one of you is probably going to have to quit, or both of you. Twelve. It's a three. Creativity. Get creative with it. Right? Experimental. You know, maybe this test run is the secrecy here. But you want to bring it out into the open. Can you test your decisions at a small scale? Deliberating on buying a specific car? Try renting one for a few days and see how it feels? Decided on moving to a new city? Visit for a week and see how it feels? All right, test out this love. Give it a little bit of freedom. Because maybe, you know, you think you're in love with this person, but maybe it's just because it is forbidden that it's so exciting. You can test that out, right? You're not really going to know for sure until you jump full force in there and really entangle yourself in it. Feel it. Okay, and then we have, so we have a um, poker deck here, and I picked five cards, and they all have different stones on them, and I love this because it actually tells me how to pronounce it. So, we have uh, the salt. Wolfenite, meteorite, zeolite, and serpentine. Right. Don't actually have a any kind of poker hand in here at all. Right, you might want to fold that. You're definitely not going to bet on it. You know, you're kind of all over the place here. Not really quite sure what to do with that. So you have to experiment with it. The wisdom, aces, an offering, beginning, starting over, something new. The queen is about advice and love. The two is about unity. And seven is about your spirituality. All right. You have the wisdom. bring this union together you need to become spiritual bring it together right 
lovers. It's very spiritual connection. And we have the Black Moon Lilith mystery, right? It's a mystery. Nothing is set in stone, which is interesting because this is, looks like it's set in stone here. And then we have like the Egyptian beetle here, which is usually written in stone. <laughs> this is also a three creativity. Yeah. There's a lot of mystery around this. Is it going to work out? And we have the moon. <laughs> the soul. This is a two. It's a union card, which is about illuminating what is unknown. Also set in stone. This feels like a very good foundation for a relationship. You really have a lot of love for each other. And I think this will work out for you if you take that leap of faith and you, you quit your job and bring this out into the light. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. <laughs> you, know, you don't love this job. I mean, you might like it, might kind of enjoy it, but I mean, serving other people is not really a glamorous job. But you might live in a big mansion with this person, working for them, right? But do you really love that more than you love this other person? You have to decide that. You know, what's, what does the spirit tell you? What does your heart tell you? Who are you? What do you love? Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. All right. I'm kind of just sitting here, pretty with your, your golden ring, with your, your information. You know how you feel. Mm -hmm. Stare into each other's eyes. Wait, do you have that connection? Do you feel it? New moon in Taurus, know your worth. Yeah. You're better than this job. Right? You know that this connection is going to work. Because it's what makes you feel good. It makes you feel secure. New moon in Cancer, relax, watch and wait. You know, you're stressing out about this situation because of the money, but it's not a winning hand, right? The winning hand is the love. It's lovers. Okay. Now this is definitely divinely guided for you. Spirit is bringing you this twin flame lover. New beginnings, the new moon. Yeah, maybe they, um, this is going to happen by the next new moon. Because we have another moon here as well. 
What is your soul telling you? You have the spirit. Spirits. The dog and the seahorse. Maybe you can bring these two worlds together. Right, because this is a land animal and this is a sea animal. You know, maybe you're from different worlds. Maybe one of you is the boss and the other one is the employee. And that's a big no-no in the working world. Manifestation, new beginnings. This is something that you both really want. Go for it. Okay, I am, I am in love with you. My spirit and everything about me, all my elements tell me that I am. So what's your choice, pile number one? Yeah, are you going to unlock this mystery? Are you going to decipher the code? Number two. Mm -hmm. and this is Earth. And I speak. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this may be your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising. Could be somebody else's sign. Who's associated with you here? Okay, what is your desire? What is your wish? And um, so this deck is interesting because this is vice versa, tarot. So there's actually the other side. You can see the other side of what is going on in the card. Right, so you see her at the pond here. She's pouring out the water from the jugs. She seems very peaceful and alone. Um, she looks like she's at some sort of a, a marsh or a pond here. So we got the bird in the back that's taking off. And in front of her, we can see the other side. We can see what she is seeing. And there is a being here, some sort of it could be her twin flame. It could be one of her guardian angels. Um, there's all these shooting stars, right? It looks like maybe an alien has come down with all these meteors. And then we have the single rose here. We had roses in the first pile. You might want to go back and look at the first pile. Right, which would be associated with your twin flame there if you were looking at first pile. Okay, so your desire is for stability and growth. This seems like somebody who is very wise Right, that they're not moving. This is a pentacle. It's very heavy. There's a lot of weight. You know, maybe this person has a lot of responsibilities. Your 
desire is to move towards something, but you're feeling stuck. You're not moving. You're contemplating something. What is it that you want to move towards? All right, so this is the other side. This is the back side, so it's nighttime. Here it looked like it's daytime, but this is nighttime here. Maybe you're taking a nap, right? You're sleeping, you're on your horse still, but you're not moving. You're kind of just standing there. This horse looks a little stunned, right? We're talking about this being here. Maybe this horse is seeing this being as well. Something about wheat. Yeah, there's no wheat growing here. Where did you grab that wheat from? Maybe you're looking to relocate somewhere to grow this crop of wheat. This doesn't really look like the kind of land to do that though. All right, you want stability. There's some sort of unknown force here. All right, what's standing in your way? Like, this is very heavy again. She's sitting on a stone. This is the, the Queen of Pentacles. She's also very heavy, very grounded. It's very slow moving. Like, you both have these horns on your head. You know, but she has a lot of growth. There's lemons here. Lemons and wheat. Yeah, maybe you're, makes, it makes me think of like a lemon pie or like a lemon scone or some sort of a baked good that you're using as wheat and the lemons for maybe you have a business you're um, you're trying to ground and find the perfect place for it you know, where do you want to pour your heart and soul into Where's the land? These are your obstacles. Right, you're not moving. There's just not a lot of movement here. You have a rabbit hanging out back here behind you. Rabbits produce very quickly, produce a lot. But it's just sitting here. All right, you gotta ground yourself first before you can produce this. So you're just sitting here, it's, you know, it's like you're contemplating something, really thinking about it. Right. Both of them really look like they're thinking about it. They look even a little stunned here. Maybe they're seeing this as well, but they don't believe it. They don't believe their eyes. It stops them right in their tracks. 
something so unbelievable and out of this world. Right, your solution is fast movement. <laughs> you know, you get up and get out of this slow movement. You know, your bird's taken off. You know, it's thought about it long enough. There's literally leaves growing out of this wand now because you've been sitting here for so long. You have these same leaves here around your horse. Contemplating this. What's the next move before you do anything? Hmm. Mm, lightning strikes. Ideas are coming in. Mm, this is the solution to come up with more ideas to sit and meditate and think about things, become you know, one with spirit, really sit and listen to spirit. Stop moving. Stop talking, right? Where you have, I speak, earth. Earth is the pentacles. I speak. You know, Mother Earth is speaking to you. You need to shut up and listen. Okay, you're not even paying attention here. Look up. Do you not even see this, that this is happening? Right, you want a new start. You need to think about these ideas though. You need to sit pretty for a little while. You know, rest. You turned your back to it. Lightning will strike. And it will ignite these trees. And help it to grow. It plants the seeds by lighting it on fire. It's planting the seed. Pouring out your emotions for this. This feels like a career. Something that you're you have a baking career or a cooking career that you're really trying to ignite right? and set on fire and get it going, get it moving. And you just need a little bit of spiritual help here from Mother Earth. Right? Well, you're growing your own food. You know, you get like the deer horns here. You're becoming one with nature. Maybe you're an herbalist. And you're healing others and you're traveling to do this. But there's still more work that needs to be done in order to have this movement. You need to strike up some ideas. You need to move to another place where you're going to have a good foundation, good soil. You're going to water that soil for it to grow. And you play devil's advocate with yourself. 16, spiritual. Okay, to shake off your bias, try to build a case against your decision. Mm. 
Shake off your bias, right? Because this is something new. This is something scary. This is... Right? Try not to look at it too hard. Try to build a case against your decision. Okay. The gold or the silver. Is this where I want to land? Okay, you're so stuck in your own mindset that you can't like see past it. Okay, weigh out the pros and the cons. Thinking about it. Weighing it out. Do I stay or do I go? Okay, and we have a uh, felled spar. Rotocrosite. Halite. Jasper. And cellarite. Alright, so we have Queen and King. We have four, five, seven, Queen King. Now changes and foundation and spirituality. This is a knowledge and nurturing. This is a collaboration. This is about control. You know, maybe you're thinking about collaborating with someone and you're weighing it out so that you can strike new ideas that seem to come from out of nowhere. It's divinely guided. Yeah, I definitely think you're moving somewhere else to build this foundation to strike new ideas. To see new things. Second house. Owning. Wow. So, we have money here. Coins. The third eye up here on the top of the pyramid. See, and we're back to pyramids again, right? So the first pile we had um, the cockroach. You know, second house, you're moving, you have another place to go. Third house, messages. 27. It's wisdom. See, here we go again. Right, this is literally the Egyptian scribes here. There's messages coming to you from your ancestors, from ancient times, from spirit. brown bear spirit take time out right you're sitting here you're not moving you're taking that time for the wisdom to come in for these to spark antelope spirit life is speeding up right you're really slow here you get you all these pentacles it's really slow. You're taking that time out. And now we have the wands and it's speeding up because these ideas are coming in. Okay. 
but you need to meditate on it. These ideas are not going to come unless you ask spirit for help. And you have union here. All right, we don't have a hand here either. Kind of we need to wait it out to the next turn. Last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Right, this is that meditation again. You know, sitting here. Playing devil's advocate with yourself. Making the decisions. Pouring out your emotions. First quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Right? This is what we've been talking about this whole time. You've been sitting here assessing the situation. Figuring out how are you going to make this money in this business, right? You're assessing it. You're sitting here. You're assessing it. You're assessing it. We got first quarter moon and we got last quarter moon. And it's like a, a full circle. Weighing everything out. Pros and cons. What is the situation? This dirt here is dry. You can't do anything. You can't grow your wheat there. But here, it's abundant. Okay, but you, you need to light that fire. You need to light that spark. Okay, so pile number two, that's for you. Uh, you're definitely moving your business somewhere else. Uh, you might even want to check out pile number one. Um might relate to this as well because of this rose here on the back side. Right, we had roses in the first one, so this could even be something like you're moving for someone else, for your twin flame, this person that you love. If you go back to pile number one, it's all about a love reading. And maybe you're moving because of that. And maybe you're weighing this out. Right? Because you have this business. You have to assess the situation. You know. Buy a new home. Really think it over. Okay, pile number two. Thank you. have pile number three. There are water signs. I see. Mm -hmm. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So it could be your sun, moon, or rising sign, or you're cross-watching for someone else. And what is your desire? Empress. Want to be on top. Oh, wow. Two of Cups and Judgment Card. Okay, your desire. Is really, you want to be on top here. Empress, you're looking for your emperor. You, know, you want a union. This could be a twin flame situation. All right, looks like we have wheat down here. Pile number two just had wheat. Seems like all these piles are really connecting with each other. So you might want to go back and look at the other piles. Uh, for more information, it looks like she also has roses on her 
dress. So this is definitely connected with the other two piles as well. All right, and you just want to live comfortably. You know, you're living here in the woods with Mother Nature, and you have all the luxury that you need. No need for material things, right? You just you you have this inner love that fulfills you. That's that's the desire, right? You want to have this union. This is actually. Uh, what's the obstacle here, right? Where's your emperor? Your emperor is not here. You want to be sitting pretty here and enjoy life. But your emperor is not here. All right, we have the judgment card here, which is your solution. It looks like you, you have messages coming in. This is like a, a cross, like a medical cross. All right, this looks kind of medical like too, that symbol. All right, maybe you have some sort of health issue or the emperor has health issue. You need to um, resurrect yourself, expose yourself, listen to the messages that are coming in. There's something about your body, right? Because you're in these caskets. Emperor is helping you. It looks like he is giving you something here. Maybe it's some sort of medication. This the emperor is going to help you feel good, right? Maybe your health is out of whack right now. And this is your desires to feel good and be one with nature. But for some reason, you're drowning in emotions, right? You're not feeling good. You feel like you're on death's bed. You're feeling judged. For whatever this illness is that you have. There, you feel like you're being judged by your doctor. Maybe this was something that was self-inflicted. Right, this almost seems like drugs too, right? Like the the opioid issue where you kind of want to take yourself out of the world and you know, into the spiritual kind of reset, right? When you take drugs, you're trying to escape something, right? You just want to feel good. Maybe you're taking some sort of drug, right? And you're being judged by it because of it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me get some clarification on this judgment card tower moment six of pentacles four of swords 
So it was definitely something unexpected happened. I really think this has to do with your health. Um, maybe you had a bad reaction to these pills because you had this like the six of pentacles looks like this, you know, this isn't typically money they're giving, but this could be drugs as well, right? Like they're giving something to you here. Drink that with water. Here's more pills. Um, somebody with balance, right? This could be like your doctor and then these are the patients here. They're in blankets. This guy's got something stuffed in his pocket. Like he's taking more than he should, right? You need to have that balance because these drugs weren't meant for you to have this kind of feeling. Right, you're taking them rec recreationally and you shouldn't be. Right, and this could ultimately lead to sickness or your death. Financial stability, financial assistance, you're having some sort of hardship, rest and recovery, right? Transformation, upheaval, yeah. yeah. I think, you know, you're looking for this sort of peace in all the wrong places. Um, and you really do feel judged by others because of it. Because you're you're taking these drugs and you're doing wild things because you're trying to get to this tranquility because you're missing your emperor, right? Maybe your emperor died. Maybe you yourself are sick. Um, it actually could be both because if you're self-medicating because of this loss that you had, Right? You're really only making yourself sick. You need to have more of a balance. Um, or you're going to have some sort of unexpected change happen to you real quickly as well. Because your foundation is all off. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. What are the variables that could affect your decision? What are the complexities as you see them? Right? What, what are the variables that made you decide to take these drugs? What are the complexities as you see them? You know, maybe if your emperor just comes back, maybe this was a breakup. Maybe he didn't die, or he's not sick, but he's just gone. He's just out of the picture right now, but you really need this union. Typically, as variables increase, so does the complexity of the decision-making process. Right? Somebody dying or a breakup or something is very complex, right? And it fogs up your mind and how you think things through. And um, maybe you're, you're just making the wrong decisions here. And it's really going to affect you in the long run. You know, one good decision leads to another. It's the same with a bad decision. This is about harmony. Having harmony with yourself. Okay. 
Okay. And then we have my coup. Tourmaline. Hematite. Malibdenite. Malibdenite. And Prenite. Okay, so we have two sixes. Right, and that's a six there as well with your variables. It's about harmony. You really need to have some harmony here. Okay. And then we have changes. Changes, manifestation, control. to start taking control over your life, manifest what you want, make the change, to have this harmony, to have this balance, to heal yourself. Mars, force. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah, so... It's, your emperor is definitely affecting you in some way. And you need to make a change. And it seems like he's in heaven here. He's out in the universe. He's just kind of a spirit. His spirit lives on in the universe. His energy is still there. Uranus, genius, nine. This is about wisdom. Right? This is like he's getting a running start here. Almost looks like he's reaching down here, right? Kind of like reaching down into this pull of emotion. It's really pulling your emotions and your heartstrings. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery, right? We don't know why things happen. We manifested it. You know, you just have to continue on and survive and be brave and live out your life. Armadillo spirit. So healthy. Set healthy boundaries. Right? I'm just talking about all these recreational drugs. Set some boundaries with yourself. Okay, and then what I was talking about, you have your courage to move forward. Full moon and Leo, go wild. It's about passion, fire, courage, survival, out in the wild, right? We're all just beasts out here in the wild trying to survive. But this line doesn't go into depression mode and self-defeat. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Virgo is about you know, things that... Um, our intellectual perfect you have the knowledge you know what's right or wrong you know why you're being judged
full moon in Capricorn. Take a reality check. Really look at yourself. Pay attention to these details again, right? Check yourself. Start judging yourself. Think about it. Are you doing the right thing? Is there another way that you could go? Is there a different route? Come back to reality. You're kind of in this this fog from all these drugs that you've been taking. It's going to take a force of genius to make the change, to have the wisdom. Start meditating, tend to the details, start thing, seeing things in a different way. You know, what's real, what's not. These drugs are messing with your head. Okay, you're not going to get your desire until you really take a look at yourself. And see what it is you can change. Okay, pile number three. That was your reading. Uh, it looks like you have some decisions to be made. In, um, in your health. So, try to make the right decision. So that you can grow. Don't snap yourself. All right. Thank you for being with, here with me today at One Who Seeks. This was your desire, obstacle, and solution reading. Pick a card. Um, I hope that you found this to be useful and if you did please like share and subscribe so others can get the benefit as well and I will see you later I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading if you found this to be helpful please like and share this content so others can benefit as well Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.